Hi there guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I am 90 plus percent sure is a Mandela effect, although this could be misremembering. So I'm hoping that any specifically people from the UK would maybe be able to chime in on this one. Um, it's the Union Jack flag. So the, the flag of Great Britain. Um, this was brought to my attention the other day and I've deliberated on doing a video on this just because I wanted to ask a few more people. And my girlfriend, she knows basically every flag there is because she was kind of studying them as a, I don't know, just in her extra time, I guess. And she's convinced as well that the Union Jack was symmetrical and the picture that I have up on the screen here, so it's all the flags of the countries that are within the United Kingdom, apart from the Republic of Ireland, because they're separate, I guess. Um, but you can see that that's what creates the Union Jack. Now, you see the current Union Jack flag at the bottom there. It's not symmetrical. Now, I, I have memories of drawing this with a ruler in school. So again, anyone that maybe knows it, there was an, an S that you used to draw in school. The letter S, it was like a, a cool way of drawing it that was a symmetrical, sharp-lined S. Um, I don't have a picture of it here for, for demonstration purposes, but you may know what I'm talking about. This was also one of the things that you'd just doodle, um, a Union Jack flag. But as you can see, I'll get up a bigger picture or many bigger pictures, you can see the lines just don't quite fit symmetrically in there. Again, I don't want to spend too much time on this one. I just want someone else's input on this one. So this to me is a potential, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm 90 plus percent sure that I remember drawing it symmetrically. Again, this one could be a memory issue of sorts. But let me know what you think, guys, and uh, that's all from me, so thanks a lot for your time. Cheers. Bye.